so you've just got a flipper zero the little cyber dolphin that's taken the world by storm you've seen the videos you've got the ideas but did you know the software it ships with is basically a neutered version of what it can actually do the hardware in your hands is a beast but the official firmware keeps its true power locked up for a lot of new owners, it feels like you bought a race car that's limited to 30 miles an hour. It's safe, sure, and it's stable, but it's not what you were dreaming of. Regional restrictions fence off the radio frequencies you can use, and a lot of the cool, advanced stuff you've heard about is just not there. You're left with a tool that feels a little like it's holding back. But what if you could unleash it? That's where custom firmware comes in. The amazing open source community around the Flipper has created alternative software that breaks those chains, adds new features, and turns your Flipper from a fun gadget into a serious tool for research and pen testing. In this video, we're going to look at three of the most popular firmware paths to help you figure out which one is right for you. We'll start with the official firmware as our baseline, then get into the custom options that will supercharge your device. Before we jump into the wild world of custom firmware, let's talk about where everyone starts, the official firmware. This is what comes on your flipper right out of the box, made by the same people who built the hardware. Their whole philosophy is about making something that's stable, reliable, and totally legal. Think of it as the perfect starting point. It's rock solid and a great way to learn the basics without any risk. You get access to all the core features, sub gigahertz for things like garage door openers, RFID and NFC for badges and key cards, an infrared that can learn from your TV remote, and bad USB for running scripts on a computer. Honestly, you should spend your first couple of weeks on the official firmware. It's the best way to get a feel for the device before you decide you need more. But that safety and stability comes with some trade-offs. The main one everyone talks about is the regional lock of the sub gigahertz radio. The firmware only lets you transmit on frequencies that are for civilian use in the country where you bought it. While that keeps you out of trouble, it could be a roadblock for security researchers who need to work with a wide range of signals. The official firmware gives you a safe curated experience but it leaves the training wheels on. If the official firmware is a walled garden, Unleashed is the key to the gate. This is the most popular custom firmware in the community and for a good reason. It's built on top of the official software, but it's designed to do one thing really well. Get rid of those frustrating limits while staying super stable. It's the perfect next step once you've learned the ropes and are ready to see what the flipper can really do. One of the biggest feature is the complete removal of the regional transmit restrictions on the sub gigahertz radio. That alone could be a big game changer for pen testers, letting them experiment across a much wider spectrum. But it's more than just that. Unleashed adds a bunch of powerful community developed plugins that are missing from the stock build. It also starts to dip its toes into more advanced features like adding expanded support for dynamic protocols. On top of all that, Unleashed just makes the flipper nicer to use. The universal IR remote has a much bigger database and the interface gets small tweaks that just make sense. Even with all these changes, it feels familiar, focusing on function over flashy visuals. Unleash is the perfect fit for anyone who wants more power and freedom without giving up the stability and feel of the original. If Unleashed is about breaking the chains, Momentum is about strapping on a rocket pack. 
the successor to the legendary extreme firmware and built by some of its key developers, Momentum takes everything from Unleashed and official firmware and pushes it to the absolute limit. It's packed with an insane amount of advanced tools and customization options, making it the top choice for power users who want it all. Momentum is loaded with features you won't find anywhere else. It has the most advanced set of Bluetooth tools, including BLE spamming to test how devices react, and even a Find My Flipper feature. Its support for different protocols is massive. Adding extra for things like the video game module, NFC type 4, file management, and more. The whole user experience has been redesigned with different menu styles, a quick access control center, and the best file browser on any firmware. But the customization is where Momentum really goes wild. Through a dedicated Momentum settings app, you can change almost anything on the fly, no coding needed. You can change layouts, icons, fonts, animations, and even set up custom button shortcuts. It even has a built-in theme system called Asset Packs that let you completely change the look and feel of your device in seconds. This, combined with its cutting edge features, make Momentum the most feature-packed and tweakable firmware out there. It's for the user who wants every tool imaginable and wants to make the device uniquely theirs. So how do you choose? It really comes down to what you want to do with your flipper. For the absolute beginner, stick with the official firmware. It's already on your device, it's super stable, and it's the safest way to learn the core functions without getting overwhelmed. Once you feel yourself hitting its limits, you'll know it's time to upgrade. For the enthusiast or aspiring pen tester, Unleashed firmware is your better bet. It removes restrictions and adds essential tools that give you a huge power boost without sacrificing stability or changing the feel of the device too much. It's the perfect balance of power and simplicity. For the power user and customization fanatic, Momentum Firmware is the way to go. It has everything Unleashed does and then piles on layers of advanced tools especially for Bluetooth and offers unmatched customization. If you want the most feature rich cutting edge experience and you love to tinker, Momentum was made for you. Now, before you make a decision, there's another popular name you'll hear a lot, Rogue Master. Think of it as the everything but the kitchen sink option. It's famous for building a massive number of community apps, games, and assets right into the firmware. While this makes it incredibly feature-packed, some users report that it can be less stable than Momentum or Unleashed. If your goal is to have a maximum number of toys to play with right away and you don't mind a few quirks, Rogue Master is definitely worth checking out. Ultimately, there's no best firmware, only the best one for you. The beauty of the flipper is that you can always change your mind. Start with the basics, grow with Unleashed, or go all out with Momentum or Rogue Master. The path you choose is all part of the fun. And now I want to hear from you. What firmware are you running on your flipper and why did you choose it? For me, I mainly stick with the official firmware as a app developer. My goal is to make sure my app is stable and works with all of the different firmwares. Drop a comment below. Your experience might just help someone else figure out their next move. And if this helped you make sense of the options, hit that like button and subscribe for more guides on the tech that matters. Picking your firmware is the first big choice you'll make on your flipper journey. The official firmware is a great starting line, but it's the custom firmware community that really lets the device shine. Unleashed gives you freedom, Momentum gives you a massive arsenal of tools and tweaks, and options like Rogue Master give you a giant grab bag of community creations. 
By understanding what each one offers, you can turn your Flipper Zero from a simple multi-tool into a powerful extension of your own curiosity. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.